So the festive season's over and it's back to reality, but what better way to brighten up those dreary days than with your regular fix of fashion, celebrities and beauty. I'm Julie Hanna and this is Julie's Style File. This week we'll be heading into the studio to see our jumper dresses fashion shoot and learning how to create a really natural dewy makeup look with our makeup artist Malin Haddo. And I found a great new designer vintage store in Glasgow that you won't want to miss. But first of all, let's head over to Hollywood and see what celebrities have been looking hot this week. Kim Kardashian proves that a little black dress goes a long way in this strapless satin number. Get her look at baby.com for £160, finished off with a great patent belt from Dorothy Perkins. Catherine Hegel really stood out from the crowd in this great bright red trench coat. There are loads of bright coats around right now and this one from Next at £60 is perfect for braving those winter showers. So now it's time to head over to the studio and have a look at that jumper dresses fashion shoot. So now that Christmas is over it's time to pack away all your party gear and get comfy and cosy and jumper dresses are the perfect way to do that. So while our model Nicola's in makeup, I'm going to show you some of my favourites. This one here is from Kukai, it's £69, really really cosy because it's lined as well and it looks fantastic with a bright pole neck underneath. Another one here is from Oasis, now this one here is fantastic if you've got a bigger bust. That low v-neck there is really really flattering and to show off your waist you could add a skinny belt too. And for a bit of colour, a really bright pashmina like that is a perfect finishing touch. Now for night time, you can wear your jumper dress too, but what to do is team it with some really cool wet lit leggings and high heels. These are just £12.99 at Vera Moda. And this pink dress here from H&M is perfect with those. Now that's £24.99, it comes in black, white and grey as well, so you can choose your favourite colour. And just finish it off with some really chunky jewellery. This is from Vera Moda, this chunky necklace. So that makes a perfect out for drinks with the girls outfit. Now our model should be just about ready now so let's head over to the studio and see how she's getting on. For our jumper dresses shoot today we're going for a really natural look. Now everyone's skin is suffering in this freezing cold weather but Melan's got some fantastic miracle products to get that picture perfect complexion. Yep, so today we've used MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation to even out the modest complexion so it just gives a really flawless look, amazing coverage but a really natural looking you finish. You can't even see that she's got makeup on. Maybe. Yeah, so it just evens out the skin tone but um, doesn't look too heavily made up. So on top of that, I just brushed on a little bit of Sean Takai's Talc Free Loose Powder. That'll just keep the shine at bay but because it's talc free it won't look too powdery on the skin. So again, just keeping it looking natural but good bit of coverage. So you always should put your powder over your foundation, any foundation you change? Yeah, um, if you want to look a bit more matte, especially in the T-zone area, it's good to have a bit of powder but you don't want it to kind of cake on and look too much so a talc free powder is ideal for that. Okay. And finally, I've used Bobby, Bobby Brown's Pot Rouge. So I've dabbed a little bit of this on the apples of the cheek, and that just gives a nice wee rosy glow. Just there. Yeah, that never been a huge fan of vintage. The thought of raking through all those dusty rails of clothes just doesn't appeal. But this store, We Love to Boogie, is something really different. It's full of great designer bargains that you will not want to miss. Let's go and have a look. Well, I'm a bit of a magpie when it comes to jewellery. I just can't get enough of it. So this table of vintage lovelies has really caught my eye. And Natalia here is here to tell me all about it. So what about this belt? This is one of my favourites. This is a Chanel number. Um, this is from the 1980s, uh, which was very hard to get a hold of. Uh -huh. But I've managed to find myself a dealer that specialises in Chanel. Okay. So, I can get the so this Chanel is the place piece. to come to find your vintage Chanel? It is, yes. 
And what about this chunky cuff here? I love this. This is lovely. That's an antique that cuff. Um, I got that down in London. It's about mm -hmm. £49, pounds, which I think is a good price yeah, for it. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's and lovely. no one's going to have one like it. Absolutely not. And what about this one here? This is really special. These watches are from um, a Glasgow uh, based designer. Um, it's called Electric Shock. Okay. Um, and it mainly watches on them with all different charms on them all. But uh -huh. they're really nice. It's great and I love get. that. I know that's lovely. Uh -huh. Fantastic, thank you. And what about these snakeskin uh, bags, bags here, Fab? Uh, mm -hmm. um, we've got them, them ranging between 15 and 80 pounds, but they sell okay. really well because, as you know, a skin bag is extortion. Yeah, it could cost you thousands for a designer Absolutely. version of those. That's great, thank you. So let's have a look at the clothes now. There are some amazing vintage designer pieces to be found here, and I've been raking through the rails for some of my favourites, like this. Bill Blast sequin dress. This is amazing. This is lovely. I like this one. I got this one the same over from America. Uh -huh. Just got that in, but it's lovely for And it's, it's well. something that no one else is going to have. No, so. I know. Great. And then what about this lace number this here? This is fantastic. This is a couture lace evening gown. It's yeah. got a trail at the back. So delicate, and that trail is massive. I know, it's beautiful. Obviously, you need an underskirt under there. Absolutely. <laughs> or you might get arrested. And what about this leather jacket? This looks like a Chanel one. It does, yes. Um, I found this actually while walking in London, so it's good to be found as it's very nice. It's great and such soft it's leather such as well. Leather. You're very good at finding these pieces. And what about this Victorian one? This is an original Victorian um, jacket. It's got all the bones in the inside and it's in such good condition. It's so it's hard amazing. to find them. Yeah. And such good, obviously with the age of them, they're so delicate. Yeah, and that gothic lace look is really in at the moment, so it's yes. fantastic for that. And then you've also got some new designers I in do, here yes. as well. Um, these are both Glasgow based designers. This one is Mimi Smith and Claire Hamilton. Um, and they're all one-off pieces as well. Right, and you hand pick the designers and just... I do, yes. Yeah, great. That's fantastic, thank, thank you. you. So that's it for this week. Thanks for watching and look out for another style file very soon. In the meantime, happy shopping.